This is a disaster. These renters absolutely destroyed my house. This is gonna cost me tens of thousands of dollars to fix this. This is the before. I can't wait to show you the after of this house, okay? <laughs> Renters just moved out of it and it's pretty messed up. We'll show you. Just look at the roof line. So they left a lot of junk everywhere. Oh, geez. I need a new stove, new cabinets. Here's the outside. We already did the landscaping right here, or at least we cleared it all out. So that looks a lot cleaner already, but here's, let's take a look at the inside. We will paint the outside as well too. You'll see the after of the pictures we choose on that. But here we go, let's take a look at this house. All right, so this was a situation where the tenant left this completely trashed. It was a freaking uh, hoarder situation even, but you know, we got all the trash out of here so you can see that you know it, it's you can try to start thinking about the potential here so um, I'll start here here's a big part this is where the kitchen used to be actually so we're gonna have the uh, the kitchen sink and dishwasher and we'll be here all right we're probably gonna put in like new cat we're gonna put in new cabinets quartz countertops and stuff like that in this corner will be the stove all right uh, this is where the gas stove will be um, or electric stove, I guess. In this situation, we'll have upper cabinets. There's venting here. I think we're gonna have to find um, a refrigerator that fits this little nook right here. Um, we're gonna turn this into kind of like, so right here is like a little, you know, you might call it a mud room or something like that. But if you look at this space right here, it's, it's very narrow right here. So I'm gonna change this into like a laundry room, basically. So I'm gonna put a washer and dryer right here and then this wall right here, I'm gonna have, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can remove this wall right here because the other side is a dining room. I think it would feel more open, number one, and it will not get in the way of this door opening because if I put washer and dryers in here, it's gonna feel cramped right here. So that's what I'm doing here. Fixtures are not too bad. I might even keep that. But yeah, we're probably gonna think about getting rid of this wall and just opening up the kitchen more. And then around this way is 
the bathroom and we tore everything out of the bathroom as well too. So we're probably not, I mean, not too much room to reconfigure these older homes. You know, they just, there's not much. Uh, probably do new tile enclosure here. Maybe like a shower, you know. This is where the vanity will go and the toilet right here. And just gotta figure out where this door is. That's gonna be the bathroom. Bedrooms, not gonna do a whole lot other than window coverings, new flooring in here. We're gonna do a vinyl wood planks, right? And just repaint. This is kind of like the living room space, right? I like the bay window still, but uh, these these two rooms over here are basically the. It was a it used to be a garage, a garage that was converted. So there's one room, but now I mean, got the window and everything. It's, it's missing a closet, so we just need to put some stuff in here. Definitely gonna need some kills on the floor in here. Looks like there's some pet staining and probably tear out the subflooring, putting new subflooring in or something. Let's take a look at the back though. So here is the backyard here. I mean, it's a spacious backyard. Back, you know, it's, you know, it's a good size yard. Really good size yard. And it's got a little storage shed. We'll probably have this painted to match the house. But um, we're just, you know, we're gonna have to definitely repaint this outside. You can see how bad the sun damage is, you know, around these windows. When you look at these uh, eaves and things too. So we're gonna have to scrape, you know, sand those down, uh, repaint those, fix all this stucco damage out here, stuff like this, right? And then, of course, this, this door framing is all damaged as well. So, yeah, not bad. AC unit is actually newer, so we're good there. There's the power lines, and uh, you know this is downtown Las Vegas, you know, so this house was built like in the 50s. Some work to be done, for sure. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see the finished product because I think it has potential. This is the next project. This is the next adventure, okay? You see how there's uh, the down, downtown Las Vegas right there in the distance right there? That's Circa right there in front of us. Right there is Circa and the D right there. This is the before. I can't wait to show you the after of this house, okay? So another day at work here at the house. All right, so let's take a look. All right, look at this. So we got the flooring here. Uh, looks like they finished all this drywall where they opened up this area. Still looks really nice. Um, they're still finishing the plumbing here from the kitchen and kind of our laundry area. But let's look over. All right, so the painting's done. Painting's done in this room as well. And then this room looks like they poured, oh, they started on the flooring in here. All right, so here's the back. More stucco repair here. So you fix that. These around the windows will definitely need to be sanded and before they get repainted. All right, looks like they started some stucco repair around the windows. Ooh, look at all this mesh they got back here. That's for stucco work. Alright, so it looks like the painting's been done. It looks a lot better outside. We went with this kind of blue and uh, white trim look. Looks pretty nice. But here's that wall that we took out. There's the beam right there. I mean, there it is. There's the framing of the house right there. So we were able to remove this. The rest of the house still needs work, but let me show you the progress in the bathroom so far. So here's our shower enclosure. We got the tiles set and stuff. Looks nice. We did a 
kind of a honeycomb hexagon tile for the shower pan and then we just did these big tiles for in here put a little soap box here under the windows it's gonna be nice to see how it turns out this is where the laundry, I'm gonna set up a laundry situation right here. Over there is gonna be a little fridge. Kitchen's right here. So they paint it all out here as well. Got the kind of bluish gray paint with the white trim around here and it all, got all the stucco repaired. Looks nice. And do you remember this shed right here? Well, we went ahead, I went ahead and had him paint this the same color as the house, too. I mean, it looks better. I mean, it was all tagged up with graffiti or whatever you want to call it.